Hello, this is Jerry Spinelli, Production Horticulture Advisor for Nursery and Floriculture with the UC Cooperative Extension. This is the second video of a series about the leaching fraction. If you haven't seen the first video, go and see it. But in the first video, we defined what it is. The leaching fraction is the ratio between what came out at the bottom of a container of the water that was applied. In this video, we will talk about how to measure the leaching fraction in the field. So to measure the leaching fraction, we need to come up with these two volumes. The volume of the leachate, that is the water that came out, that drained at the bottom of the container, and the applied water is what was applied. So this is our container, again, with substrate in it and with our plant growing in it. And we will have some kind of uh, irrigation hose that has some kind of tubing. And let's say that we have an emitter that could be a spray stake that could be a dripper. Um, this emitter's job is to apply water to your container. So to come up with the leachate, we can put a pan underneath our container and the pan could look like something like this, just a simple pan to collect water. And we recommend that you put some kind of drain. This is a simple PVC drain that you can put inside the pan and the, and the pot and the container will be just sitting on the drain. So this will, will allow the water to come out of the container more easily. And once you have collected the leachate inside this pan, you can use various um, devices to measure the volume. These graduated cylinders are more accurate, but they're a little bit more cumbersome to use in the field. This style is similar to those that you use to measure pesticides and even for measuring paints. This can be found at Home Depot for a couple of dollars. Um, these other ones can be found, can be even bought on Amazon for $10. And for our purposes, they're not greatly accurate, but they're accurate enough. So with these devices, you can measure the volume of the water that was collected at the bottom of the container, and that will represent the leachate. Instead, to measure what was applied, you can remove the emitter from another pot, from another container, and instead of irrigating for the same irrigation event, you can collect the water di directly from the emitter or directly from the spray stake. This is a method that works only if we have reasonable um, reasons to believe that all the emitters applied the same quantity of water. If this assumption doesn't hold, this simplified method cannot be used. And in the next video, we'll show you a different, more accurate, a little bit more complicated method to measure these two volumes. Thank you very much for your attention.